What up, yo? This is David. What I'm so offended. Been a minute. I've been busy. Got a lot going on. But uh, shout out to those that have um, emailed me and, you know, some guys I've spoken to and all that. Just want to let you know that, uh, you know, some of you that that did make the donation and we haven't had yet a chance to talk, um, like the schedule, you know, like it has it has to work, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, all of you guys like like, you know, like I'm like I do do make the call and I haven't met, had anybody um, say that that I didn't come through and make the call and, you know, speak about their their issue and whatnot and whatever. So, uh, those of you that are still waiting on calls, like, like email me back, you know, so that way we can schedule the call. You know, I don't know. I'm sure you guys have a lot going on as well. Cause you told me that, um, you know, it was the holidays and you can r- reach back to me. Fine. I responded to your email and I'm like, all right, what time do you want to set up the call? You know, but anyway, um, you know, and all of that could be verified, man. Like, you know, I, I email everybody back, you know, and I try to try to schedule, schedule the call. And sometimes it just doesn't, um, you know, our schedules are conflicting, but you know, I do get back to y'all and I ask, when do you want to schedule the call? You know, and then eventually it gets done. So it's, you know what I'm saying? So, so I do the calls and, you know, and I respond to all emails Other than that, I'm just making a quick video here um, about a motion that you can use um, if you're going through like a like a custody issue or something like that. And they try to bring uh, child support into it. They are separate matters. Understand that. Know that child support and custody and parenting time and legal decision making, all that. It's separate. Okay. So this was actually something that I used for trial I had last year. Um, Now, we all know that I beat contempt, right? We all know that. So I still have was am dealing with the with the with the custody issue. You know, I have one of those bitter, vindictive baby mamas and whatnot. And, you know, she won't stop at anything to not let me have a relationship with with my with my daughter. Right. So anyways. So that's what I'm going to speak about <clears throat> when they tried to bring up uh, child support, but they couldn't. So first and foremost, um, um, let me see. Everything I say um, is for entertainment and educational purposes only. I'm not an attorney and I don't practice law um, and anything that you do, I I'm not liable for what it is you guys do, but I have no problem being a guinea pig and trying the things that I try and do what I've done to get to where I'm at. So, um, you know, do your own research, please do your own research. All right. I'm only showing you what I did and, you know, we can go from there. So one of these tools that, that, uh, that I used at trial was, so they had filed a modification, right? And it was regarding parenting time, right? So you file a modification and then you can go to trial, right? So we were going to trial for a modification of parenting time. One of their attachments was child support, right? They tried to reintroduce that because it didn't go so well for them last time as you all saw. And so what was filed You know, so they tried to attach it. They tried to talk about it. Right. And also. And so when when you're going through trial, when you're going through your hearing, motions are the is what gets addressed first. So a motion that that we filed on our end is a motion in limine. Okay, motion in limine or it could be in limine. I'm not sure. So let me show this to you. Right. So. Now. It exists as a regular motion for for all law, you know, as far as uh, civil and other things. But it also exists in family law, which is why we were allowed to use it. So this is just a regular Google search of family law motion in limine or limine. <clears throat> so a motion in, I'll just say limine, right? Or limine. <laughs> 
A motion in limine is is a motion from one party requesting the court to limit or prevent certain evidence from being presented at trial by the other party. It says motions in limine are rare in family court. But I used it. I used one of these because they tried to bring in child support. But it wasn't proper because they didn't file anything regarding it. They filed a modification of parenting time. And then they tried to bring up child support. But because it is a separate issue, we filed a motion in limine. As a matter of fact, I even referenced um, how the last hearing went, where if if you saw the the hearing, um, the baby mama had said that um, that she doesn't find the review of hearings helpful. And we quoted her exact statement and used that in support of the motion in limine. All right. So as a general, the motion in limine, the purpose of it is to determine whether certain evidence may be presented to the jury in any form at any stage. Right. Generally, a motion in limine is used to exclude evidence that a party believes to be irrelevant or unfairly prejudicial. Right. They wanted to try to sell the whole deadbeat daddy thing, you know, by alleging this whole child support thing. But they can't. It's not proper. Okay, there needs to be a filing of it. And what are they going to do? Put me through enforcement again? I'm all for it, right? Sure, let's let's do that again, right? Because that didn't work out last time. So we have this motion in limine, family law. The court's minute, minute entry will likely specify when motions in limine must be submitted prior to trial. That that wasn't really, you know, we, we it was submitted, like we filed it. This was um, prior to the trial, you know, because when you're going to have trial, you submit your, your evidence, you submit uh, your pretrial statement, you submit your um, parenting plan and all that, right? And one of the motions, you know, and then they filed motions along with it. They wanted me to get like, like another psychological evaluation. And this was a motion that I defeated on my own, right? I defeated their motion and, you know, they went to trial with that and submitted no parenting plan, right? And so our motion was a motion in limine and it was granted. They couldn't talk about it. They couldn't talk about child support. Oh, their attorney tried to mention it, but raised the previous point, said motion in limine, said uh, basically they're they're not allowed to talk about it, and that was it. That was it. It's like, and so the trial went just for straight parenting time. And also, I'll let you know how that how that all goes. But the thing is. They submitted no parenting plan, right? They submitted no parenting plan in a modification for parenting. And they got nothing of it. They got none of it. They only considered the parenting plan that that I had in place. And, and that was it. And they were big mad. They were big mad. But that's not what this is about. This is about one of the tools that I use. So... Therefore, whatever your situation is, you know, if you're going through a modification or if they're filing for, you know, legal decision making or whatever it is you're doing, even if you file it, you know, especially since you're the moving party, you know, just because you get all those documents from court, if you're filing them yourselves, that doesn't mean, I'm sorry, even if you get all those documents from court, you know, if you use the the self-help ones, and it has a financial statement and to put down, you don't have to use it. You don't have to use it. All right. It's just providing all of that paperwork, but I provided no financial statement to them. None. The only time I provide a financial statement is to be able to, um, uh, to get my fees waived. Right. 
and that's a different that's a different ruling. They rule on whether um, I can get my fees waived or not. It has no bearing on the actual um, court procedure unless it's brought up for the court procedure, right? But the motion in limine was in play, and the other, you know, and they just couldn't talk about child support, and it was strictly about the parenting time. So, so that was a tool that that you can use, anybody can use, to, um, you know, it, and it and, and it's more so for, for on a on a defense part that if they're trying to take you to court, right? You know, if the baby mama's trying to take you to court for for a modification and whatever, but they didn't say anything, they didn't file for something regarding child support, then you can't talk about it. And so that's when you file your motion in limine to get them to, to, to prevent it to be heard when you're having a trial or a hearing based on parenting. It's, it's just a separate thing. So, um, this is something that, that that exists everywhere, as you can see here. It's in the United States. This is a motion that that can be used, and it's a motion that can be used in family law, and it's in California as well. Uh, motion in limine in California is the same thing. Evidentiary motion brought on the threshold of trial by which a party seeks to exclude arguably inadmissibly or highly prejudicial evidence from trial. There you go. All right. So I'm just hopping on just to just to throw that out there it was something that I used that succeeded, and um, and it's a simple it's a simple motion, you know. Um, I can show you other motions that I've been doing while I'm dealing with this um, with with this custody issue and whatnot, and just showing you the things that have worked for me. And so far, um, I've had a good set of hearings, and so you know I've been I've been winning my motions. But anyways, was just hopping on to say that, um, you know, if you send me an email, you know, I can respond to your email and then I send you a general list of questions just so I can uh, understand what what's going on with your case. And, you know, and then after that, you know what I'm saying? If you if, if we're going to do a phone call and whatever, uh, you know, uh, you, you can do the, the donation and then we'll talk there. And, um, you know, and as I tell everybody, you know, I only know. Um, what I've gone through and what I've done, you know, some guys have shown me what they've done and, and that's great. But when it, it, but if it's something I haven't done, I'll tell you, right. Or if it comes from someone else, I'm not going to feed you any BS, any stuff that isn't verified, any stuff that, that, that didn't work, any, anything like that. I'm just being honest, you know, and shout out to, to, you know, the other guys that are out there, um, putting out information, um, you know, that are getting, that are getting results. Um, that's great. You know what I mean? More power to them. And, you know, hopefully, um, instead of just hating what the other guy is doing or nothing like that, you know, we could just all like liberate ourselves from this once and for all and just try and deplete this program. So, all right. All right, y'all. That's it.